Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bobby Chatterback's Fishing. Today we're going to be doing some micro fishing. First things first though, shout out to my newest subscriber, Oliver. Uh, he's an awesome fisherman himself. Went out and caught probably 12 or 13 trout in an hour the other day. Uh, anyway, he's a great guy. So you guys following his steps, go subscribe, hit those notification bell. Uh, let me know what you think of the content. So this guy here, we're going to throw this proficiency ultralight setup with this miniature crankbait. We're going to catch some small fish uh, and multi-species if we're lucky. So let's hit the creek and then we'll make our way to the river. All right, guys, we got our ultralight micro setups. Thomas, let me see what you're throwing. Got one flashing down there. Let me see it. Hold it up here. Then I got the proficiency. He's got the ugly, ugly stick with the lose micro reel. There's a fish flashing right down there where he is. Do you see him? Yeah. He tossed one in there too with the crank. Oh, he chased it. He chased it. Who can get him first? Oh, that's not me. Oh, he chased it again. I will give you the spot. Walk down here. You getting hit mosquitoes too? What? You're getting bit too? No. I'm gonna say I, I haven't get... so. I was gonna say I haven't got hit yet. Feel it, but I don't see it. Good gosh, that's a monster. Oh, okay. Hold it up here, the camera. Mm. That big one. It's dead though. Can you get back under that tree? Right here, this brush. Right there. He ate it. You got one, go Mila. Oh wait, no, you got one. Mila's got you a got good bass. No, it's a bass. <laughs> Dude, I did not know these were in the... Dude, Mila! <laughs> good job, baby. Okay. Way to keep reeling it, too. I thought you were stuck. <laughs> Dad, that's a big small weight. They fight a little bit, so hold them tight. Oh. But hold them up here. Nice job, oh, Mila. Good, good coaching from Thomas, too. All right, get your small mouth back in. We're micro fishing, but that's that's a little above micro. That's a little that's, chunk. That's really big for the... Yeah, they're just hitting it. Like, I don't even see the fish there. Oh, now I see it. Got him. Whoa. What is that? I don't know. Some fish. I don't know what kind it is, man. They're cold. He's shivering. Can you feel it? Hold on. So cool. Got one. Little one, Thomas. Mila. Finally. Little sunfish. Is that a rock bass? Yeah. Check it out. Let's check it out. 
There's a bunch of flashes. Oh, he's, he's a little guy. Might grow he's fish. This would be such a cool fish to take to our pond. But well, obviously we can't. Wow. Not yet. What pretty colors though. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Sweet. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, beautiful. Dad, it was soon this morning. I didn't even have time to give you the rod. And it's raining. Um, there you go. Take, take, take it, take it, Good job. Take your time. Nice. Good job. They're so light. That's a nice fish. What is that? Is that another rock, rock bat? I had you. I had him. Surprised you didn't get off the ring. Oh, Largie. we got Largy. Oh, cool. <laughs> that was a oh, fat largemouth. That. that was cool. You hear that dragon? Yes. I got you. guys we made our way to the Shenandoah River we came from the creek we are still micro fishing Let's see if we can get some small mouths on these little bitty miniature crankbaits and spinners it's gonna make our way across this river so we can work our way further down where I know there's some small mouth oh that was a bite got one Second or third cast here, not bad. A little small mouth. Exactly what we're trying to catch, these little micros. There we go. It's pretty deep right here. To find a different way around, I think. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Good smallmouth. <laughs> exactly what we want, guys, on this micro bait. That is a normal size smallie on a micro size bait. That's fun. Check it out. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. All right, let's get him back in. Beautiful little fish. Ready to go, I can tell. Alright, made ourselves our way around all that stuff. But man, this is some basically quicksand right here. So we're going to have to stay in this grass a little bit longer. Yeah. Alright, finally made our way to the other side of that bridge. Which, whew, that was a hike, guys. But we're here. I feel like we can get on some more smallies and maybe some other species too. Whatever we catch is fine because we're targeting these little tiny micro fish of any species. But we're going to catch smallies over a pound like that last one. Then we won't complain either. Again, we're throwing this uh, proficiency rod. It is a ultra lightweight. It's got a four pound line. And this little miniature crankbait probably looks bigger on the camera than it actually is. And so far, so good. You know, the best thing about fishing, guys, is just trying new stuff. I, I've maybe micro fished once or twice in my life. But I saw this set up on sale, and I'm like, you know what? Let's do it. So far, it's been a fun day. Caught some in the creek, already caught some on the river. 
So worth the investment. Should be some fish along this grass line here. The water's not too deep, but those fish still like to gather up around that grass, especially during a hot day. Right about now is when they'll start to come out. So we might catch them on the edge right here. Yep, there's one, right when I said it. Another smallmouth, I think. He's fighting like a smallie anyway. Might be a bluegill. A bluegill. All right, we got our fat bluegill, guys. He was taking a little bit of drag, too. All right, so this little micro setup catches bigger fish, too. Very nice. Let's get him back in. Also, I'm not a big smallmouth fisherman as far as knowing what I'm doing, so guys have any types of pointers advice things i should be using if i'm fishing micro for smallies just throw it down in the comments and i'll definitely read those and put them into practice oh, there's another bite oh that one did not get his mouth on the hook let's see watch my hooks be messed up and he was just eating the plastic probably yep that's exactly what happened guys i should have checked before i cast that last time i would have had another fish all right throw right back out there because if he didn't get hooked he might want to eat it again yep and he did <laughs> oh i came off that was a little small mouth that was hilarious Came right back after that first bite. And closer to some rapids down here, which I think will hold some of these small mouth as well. But I am taking my time and just slowly working my way down. I'm not in any hurry. I found that's the best way to fish. Just do not be in a hurry. Oh yeah, right at the end. Another smallmouth. Another little one. This is exactly what we want. Man, he ate this hook pretty good. Do have my pliers with me. Let's see if I can do this without using them though. I think I'll be able to. Got him all in, but he's not, he's not hooked too weird. All right, got him. Oh, fell in. Well, safely released. That's all that matters. All right, tempting to get through this current, but it's a lot stronger than it looks. There we go. It's another smallmouth. I think I kind of foul hooked him, but not a bad one. It's probably not taking a little drag right now. <laughs> Beautiful. Guys, we are on them. Right in the rapids that time. So we basically caught them in every type of water today. Oh, this one's a little feistier. I'm going to have to use the pliers to get them off so let me hang tight for a second here all right got him unhooked we're gonna get him back in here there you go all right caught that one right in the rapids try that again yep there he goes they're hitting on top actually I think he might have missed it. Still saw him come out of the water. That was pretty cool. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, guys, this is so much fun. It's incredible. Look at this, taking this drag. <laughs> the fish combined with the rapids. 
That's incredible. Yes. Another beautiful smallmouth. Beautiful. Not really hooked that bad, but hooked in a way that I'm going to need to pliers just to pop them off. And I'll show you guys this fish. Nothing huge, but definitely not a micro that we're targeting. Man, it's just right in the corner of his lip, too. He's really ate it good. There we go. Got one out and the other. Beautiful. Check that out, guys. Get him back in here. And catch another one in these rapids. Good thing about fishing a current or a rapid like this is, it's just a constant replenishing source of fish because it's coming down river left and right. There we go. Got another one. He's taking drag a little bit. Now he's really taking drag. Might be a bluegill. I hadn't jumped yet. Nope, it's a bass. A smaller bass just taking that drag. Love the fight of these smallmouth guys. It's crazy. Completely different than when you catch a largie. Largies are head shakes and tugs. These smallmouth, man, they're fighting for their life. They're going every which direction. Let's get him back in, too. So much fun. There we go. Another one. Well, I know I asked for comments how to catch smallmouth, but I might have just figured something out in these rapids. Same size. All right, I got you, buddy. I'm going to get you loose. Largemouth also seem to understand that you're trying to get them released, but smallmouth are not <laughs> quite cooperative like that. All right, another pretty one. No brown backs all day. Sure, there's some big smallmouth in here too. I know I've caught a couple two and a half pounders out of here, close to a three pounder, but this was on bigger baits like flukes and things like that. There we go. Oh, yeah. Come on. You can never tell how big they are either. It's because they're fighting so hard. That... Oh, this one's, this one's got to be bigger. Got to be bigger, y'all. He's taking all my drag. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's a fatty. Not... Not as long, but he's fat. Jeez. Guys, this is just... This is beyond fun. This is awesome. Get you... I'm going to get you unhooked, buddy. Unhooked. Gosh, you got hooked all kinds of weird. There we go. Wow. Look at this one, guys. Another beautiful brownie. Alright, let's get you back in too. Good fight. Good grief. There we go. Another one. Guys, it's almost like repeated cast at this point. Another fat one. Yeah, got him in here too. Let's get him back.
No, I wish I did. <laughs> Sorry. I know the feeling. <laughs> nice to know if I have an iPhone charger in the middle of the river. Sure. I'm going to just plug it into your boat for you there, your inflatable kayak. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? There we go. Smally. Probably lose them in these rapids. <laughs> oh my goodness. Short but chunky. Little guy fought like crazy. Put you back in here. There we go. Oh, that was a good one. Wow. There we go. Ah, oh, he popped off. Dang it, that's another good one. He was taking drag right away. Wow, this is crazy. Ooh, go right back at him. I kind of hit it right when this calm water ends and Right when the crank's entering those rapids. There we go. <laughs> yeah, these fish are crazy. I don't know if the GoPro called him jump. He jumped off. I don't know if the GoPro got him jumping, but that was insane. <laughs> All right, we moved past those rapids just to come down here to see if we can get. Maybe a large mouth just to add that species to the list. There we go. Blue gill, maybe. Oh, and that was a small mouth that came off. Got a little one. Little one. All right, don't hurt me. Gotcha. There we go. Another smallie. Jumped off. There we go. Another little one. Gosh, she's jumping like crazy. Alright, got you back out. 